Hey guys, this is Grace and welcome to my channel and welcome to the fifth layout in our double page mini series. If you are new to my channel or you haven't seen the rest of this series, basically what I did was I found a digital layout template and it I used that as a sketch or an inspiration jumping board for my double page layouts. So I have to say this one is by far my favorite out of all of the layouts that I created. I like my layouts. I, uh, I mean, I like all the layouts that I created. I feel kind of like, you know, when you're creating something that's like your baby. And so I do like all of the layouts that I create, but I feel like this one was my favorite. Um, a, because it resembled the sketch a little bit closer than the others. And B, because I like the combination of pattern papers and photos kind of in a collage format. So initially I had wanted to use the gray cardstock as actually the actual background and then that subtle blue paper as the 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 piece that will go right behind the photos. But then when I was looking at it I felt like the blue was a little too light for my photos and so I kind of switched it around. So I have the blue as now the background and then the cardstock as that base for my photos. Now I did trim out these photos a little bit and that was one of the things that I liked about the template or the sketches as well is because they have configurations for their photos that I don't normally use uh, with creating my layouts. So I like that one. Now um, I trimmed a few of them as three inch squares and then some I'm gonna, especially the ones that are vertical, I am going to keep them as three inch and then there are some of the horizontal photos that I will be keeping as four inch with photos just because like those pictures of um, the whole family I just feel like I couldn't really cut them as three inch with just because it's going to cut out some people and so here I'm just kind of moving things around um, I wanted to add my photos first um, and then I will be adding my pattern paper blocks between them. Now another reason why I wanted to cut my photos is because um, in the sketch it called for um, well the the sides the left and right side of the sketch kind of have space um, to add pattern paper and titles and whatnot. So that's another reason why I were I was trimming them down so that I can add those blocks. Um, I have this very old die cuts with a view paper and it's mostly kind of a rainbow type theme and it has some hot air balloons as well but then I just thought that I would use this one because a you know it's been sitting in my scrapbook space but also I love the colors it just really vibrant and just makes me smile and so that's what I decided to use. Now I'm just looking for items that I could add in between the papers. I have pulled out because the, the, I don't have a lot of the um, of the paper pack anymore. I'm just using whatever's left so I was just trying to look for things that I could uh, incorporate at this um, that the blocks like these ones that are three by four but at the same time I will be cutting out some pattern papers that are a little bit smaller than that and I'm going to use actual pattern and not just these kind of cut apart papers. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I did really enjoy making it. Um, I really like making double page layouts especially when I have events or um, a lot of photos to deal with. I feel like double page is th the best way to go and so I really did enjoy creating these pages and I really also liked using a digital template as a sketch. Uh, there are some specific places that I user sketch a lot like say a scrapbook generation and um, their sketches could kind of 
look not look all the same but there's some certain elements of those sketches that are pretty similar to one another so when i step away from those kinds of inspiration and use a different one it just rejuvenates me i don't know if you guys are like that that when you find a different kind of inspiration it just makes everything fresh and so that's kind of how i feel when it came to using this template and so i want to encourage you to check out the sweet shop um, i will make sure to link that in the description box below again this is a paid site you pay for the sketch or sorry for these templates and if you're a digital scrapper you just basically take this to say photoshop um, and then you drop in your photos in there but since um, i do physical scrapbooking i basically just use that template and use that as a sketch instead of the actual layout template so now that i have my blocks of paper and i did use a little bit of measuring for that now i'm going to adhere everything um, i am trimming that gray cardstock just a tad so that you can see the blue peeking out from the corners of the um, of the layout a little bit about the photos so these photos were taken last summer when we went to california these are just um, pictures from when we got together, me and my extended family, we got together um, at my brother's house to have some lunch and, and do karaoke. Uh, I don't know what you guys are, like your family is into. My husband's family, they're into card games. Like when they get together, they do a lot of card games. Now my family, I don't know if it's a Filipino thing or it's just that my family is big on it, but our family is big on karaoke. And so that's what we were like, that's our quote unquote activity that we did. And I don't do karaoke until I'm with my family I don't know why, but like when it's just like me and my kids or my my husband, I don't I don't do that. Um, but when I'm with my extended family, that's when I bust out my my singing chops. Well, I don't really have a singing voice, but that's when I do karaoke. And I already told my family at this point, like this specific event, that I will be hogging the um, the microphone. And sure enough, I did. But what surprised me was um, my oldest. Uh, son he was into the karaoke too which was kind of surprising because i didn't know that he was into that so that was kind of a fun memory to look back on and then um, of course you know we had our our lunch and then we of course took pictures and that's kind of my favorite thing to do when i visit cali is to visit my family because you know we are miles away from them and we really only see them once a year Honestly, that's kind of an, another worry that I have with the COVID was, uh, I'm just glad that, you know, some of the restrictions are being lifted now, but I'm just not sure what the summer will look like. And so I'm, I'm praying and crossing my fingers that we won't have to change our plans for the summer, that we will still be able to come visit our family. So we will see. So now that I have, I did got the blue paper uh, just because i don't know i feel like i can use that paper um, for another project if not for this one i could definitely use uh, that for at least like matting photos i i know that that specific paper is only single-sided so i can definitely use the other side for some um, matting even if i don't use the blue side for actual scrapbooking and so i just ran out of the atg and so i just refilled that and i'm sure you didn't want to see me having to do all that stuff so i just cut that out of the video but now i am working on just adhering everything now and this is this part went by i would say fairly fast because everything is cut out i just need to remember where the placements are now uh, it might have changed since i initially created this or prepped this layout but it's all gonna work out just the same yeah i can't even remember where i placed some of these specific things uh, i'm very 
lazy. Well, not lazy, but I always forget to, you know, I see some people take pictures of their layouts in progress so that they can remember the placement of things. And I always think about how clever that is. But honestly, I never do it myself, which is kind of interesting. So, but um, yeah, so it this is going to look way different than what I had initially planned for, but it's all good. So I'm just moving things around. I did move. So initially I had wanted kind of a, a block, kind of a journaling block as one of my three by four pieces here, but I end up changing it to just the quote and also this pink with the clouds in the sun. And I, I like that bunch. I like that one much better. I will be printing off my journaling after I am done with um, filming this. And then I would just cut them into strips and add that on the top of that blue, sorry, that green pattern paper piece. Now, um, initially I had thought that maybe I will ink up all of the edges of the, of the paper blocks just so that it will have a distinction between that and the papers. But I realized that some of the paper blocks, I didn't really cut into like cut them to to fit that specific spot so i was actually tucking them underneath the photos and so i ended up not inking any of the other edges i just did the green one now um i added a strip of that pink and blue paper on the left side and so i thought that the right side also needed a strip of paper but to make it a little bit different i did add a punched scallop border on the right side of that now um, i have these stickers and i wanted to use it this specific one is so happy together from simple stories and had the big word family now um at first I thought, well, maybe that quote, that togetherness quote will be enough for my title, but I really wanted to use some of these word stickers that I've had in my stash for a while. And so I am using that now. I have the family and then I also have this gather word from this um, Cartabella sticker sheet. And so I wanted to use that up. So I'm going to do a title, gather the family, which is perfect for this particular layout. Now I am pulling out uh, some small letter stickers so that I can spell the word the and I'm just looking for something that would work um, the problem with that is because it uses e <laughs> which I don't have a lot of and t which is also another one that I tend to um, you know use up a lot of so I'm just going through a, um, a few stickers to audition to make sure that I have all of the letters that I needed and I ended up with this sticker sheet from SEI. Now the title um, is going to be on the bottom of that green piece and then of course the journaling strips will be on the top so I intentionally placed that on the bottom. Now the word family was just not um, sticking out a lot uh, against the green background and so I decided to highlight that with a pen and then um, now it's time to decorate. I have a few home chipboard stickers here and also just regular stickers that I will be using. Um, this one is from Cartabella and it's just have some home elements. Um, now this this is a sticker sheet but I find that some of the chipboard stickers stickers don't really adhere very well and so I am adding a little bit of ATG to some of them just to make sure that they are stuck on there that they won't come out and so basically that is my layout there will be some still shots at the end um, if you have any questions make sure that you leave it in the comment section below if you like these videos please consider giving it a thumbs up um, and I've had a a few suggestions of future mini series and I will be incorporating those. I did write those things down so I will incorporate them. But if you have any ideas of mini series that you would like me to focus on, make sure that you leave that in the comment section below so that I could um, take that into consideration next time I make a series. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you guys another day. Bye!